The Conference USA Men's Basketball Tournament is being brought to you by American Century, managing money for individuals and institutions for over 40 years. And by Phillips 66, where we put the best in our super clean gasolines so you get the most out of your car. Think smart, think performance, think Phillips 66. First, our center, Cincinnati, and Conference USA quarterfinal action. The number two seed, Marquette, against number seven seeded Louisville. Let's take a look at the Cardinal lineup today. Bryant Northern. Boy, was he hot in the second half yesterday. Turned in a career-high 25 points and not bad for non-scholarship player. Filled it up, got them out the gate in the second half and really set the tempo. Reese Gaines also had 30 yesterday, helping Louisville win over TCU as you check out the rest of the Louisville lineup. Marquette's lineup. Dwayne Wade, of course, he's All-Conference USA. And Cordell Hentry, he's second team All-Conference USA out of Whitney Young High School in the Chicago area. 414 career assists. He leads the team on the floor. He is Marquette's guiding light. He's the guy that runs the show. The head coaches, Rick Pitino, first year at UofL, his 16th season as a college head coach. He has taken Providence and Kentucky to the Final Four, winning a national championship in the 1996 Final Four. Tom Green, the coach of the year in Conference USA. Our congratulations to Coach Green. His third year there in Milwaukee with 54 victories against 33 defeats. What a terrific season the Golden Eagles have had to this point, going 24-5. The leaders for the Cardinals, Reese Gaines can really fill it up, 20.9 points per game, while Miles is strong on the boards, Gaines just under four assists per game. The leaders for the Golden Eagles, Wade is the leading scorer and rebounder, Travis Diener hits 43% from behind the arc, not bad for the freshman from Fond du Lac. With 24 minutes of playing time, not bad for a freshman on the 10th ranked team in the country. The tournament history for these two schools, Louisville was able to get back to 500 with a win yesterday by defeating TCU. Marquette, eight and five in Conference USA tournament games, winning the title in 97. Louisville wearing the black uniforms today. Marquette still huddled around Coach Tom Crane. What kind of game do you expect? We're talking about the track meet in yesterday's game, Louisville and TCU. I just don't anticipate that uh, against Marquette. Do you what Marquette you? wants to do is they want to deny the dribble penetration capability of Louisville. They want to get on the boards. They want to belly to belly, get after it defensively. Of course, Louisville wants it up and down, and they want Reese Gaines to let it fly early and often. The serious history for these two schools. With Louisville leading 30 to 19. And you see that Marquette was able to win both regular season games. Steve Wilmer, Mark Whitehead, and Hal Lusk are the officials assigned by Conference USA. Are you ready for a big one? I'm ready. Let's Scott do Barrett it. Going up with Seema for Louisville. And the ball belongs to Louisville. Bryant Northern. Boy, when he touched the ball in the second half yesterday, it was in the basket quick as a hiccup. Northern from the point. Nice touch pass. O'Bannon penetrated, using the left hand to score. That's what makes Louisville so effective. Interesting matchup. Reese Gaines guarded by Blankson, not Mr. Wade. And here's the full court pressure for Louisville on Marquette. Wade all the way across the floor to Blankson. Merritt trying to back in, and Miles gets a hand on it. And so does Seema. Here comes U of L. Bryant Northern to the front court, met by Henry. O'Bannon for three. Short this time. Odarte blanks and cleans the glass for Marquette. Marquette will run when it's available. If not, they'll work the shot clock, get a good one. Cordell Henry. He's guarded by Bryant Northern and off the switch. Henry out front. O'Bannon is watching him now. Number three, Dwayne Wade. Henry, little floater too hard off the glass. Merritt going to the offensive boards. Can't get find a handle on it. All he streaks hole. all the way in. And a foul call. Gaines got the motor going at half court. Decided to take it the length of the floor. Got the bang. It'll be out of bounds to Louisville. So well, Namika couldn't stay with him, and it cost Namika a foul. Louisville to inbound. Too strong off the glass for Northern. Maybe too close for Northern. Yeah, really? The way he hit behind the arc yesterday. Here's Henry. Long rebound to Blankson and a foul. Joseph Seaman. 
He was going up for the loose basketball and picks up his first foul. Seba from Paris, France, by way of Riverside Community College. And U of L, one out of three. With a field goal for Larry O'Bannon, 0 for 4 for Marquette. Marquette will take another attempt at it. Langson from the double team. Namaka, too strong on the three. And Seba on the bounce for U of L. Excellent job of blocking out. One shot, and we go the other way. They'll play off of Miles, they'll play off of Seema. Here's Gaines. And he was on the line when he made that attempt. Couldn't make the shot. What makes Wade so effective? He rebounds it, brings it the length of the floor. And dumps it low for Namika. That's the 98th assist this season for Dwayne Wade. 32nd timeout taken by Louisville. We have a 2-2 ball game with 18.03 to go in the first half. We expect Louisville to push the ball, but every now and then, Marquette will push the ball, just like this. Well, Wade, leader in rebounding. Wade, leader in assists. The nice dump down for the easy basket as he curled around the defender. A little wraparound. Yeah, made the nice pass against the double team and got it inside. You run to the goal if you're a big guy and wait for the guard to give it to you. Let's check out some other scores with championship week in progress in the A-10. UMass and Xavier. They're at halftime. UMass leading. Now in the Big East. Boston College playing Pitt today. Pitt number seven in the country. In the MAC quarterfinals, a tie game at halftime. Marshall and Kent State. This is our first quarterfinal game in Conference USA today. Great house is on hand. Crowd people still a... filing in, Jordy. And they're fired up early. Northern indicating the set play. Langston is guarding him. Miles. You see how they sag off of Miles? It's a zone situation, to be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. So three attempt, one goal for Northern. And there's another long rebound. Namaka. Langston in the front court. He'll take the floater and score. Beautiful head. His head up with the dribble. Surveyed the field. Took what the defense gave him. Gaines saw an opening left of the lane and was fouled by Odarte Blankson, the first on him. Louisville, one of the better teams in the country at taking the ball with the dribble to the basket, making you defend and making the officials make calls. Louisville to inbound. O'Bannon, long feed to Northern and a foul. Blankson took the chance, going for the steal. Picks up his second quick foul. Well, he's going to have to take a seat, just a silly foul. You like the aggressive nature, but you need him on the floor, not on the bench. David Diggs, number 33, jumps off the Marquette bench. A senior from Dayton, Ohio. Played nine minutes against DePaul in the last outing for Marquette. And here's the matchup we anticipated. Wade on games. Henry watching Northern. Wade with the steal. Stopping, popping. Wade is too strong off the glass. Follows his shot. And in the scramble, it's a held ball. The possession arrow favors Marquette. Wade, great defense on the other end. The quick hands as he's matched up against Louisville's premier player. Look at him fight for position on the low block. And then he's in the outer hand to deflect. Take it down. Don't force it. Stop and pop. Doesn't get it to go, but he follows it up again. And there's the scrum advantage, Marquette. Marquette's ball from the baseline. 4-2, Marquette. 17-11 to go in the first half. And a foul. Right over with his first foul. Two team fouls on U of L, three on Marquette in the early going. Diggs looking for Wade and Wade. He had the nice hands, but just couldn't stay with it long enough. Ellis Miles had the position. Help side defense by Miles created the turnover. The first of the day for Marquette. Northern hounded by Henry. O'Bannon bullet pass low for Miles in the reverse. Oh, oh Dipsy do for two. First the pinpoint pass and then the great elevation. Aluma Namaka in on Miles, and that's a blocking foul on Ellis Miles. His first, the third on the Cardinals. I can't get over the move by Ellis Miles on the other end of the floor. Let's take a look at it. First, the crisp pass right here. Boop, zing it. And now, up, under, around, and through. That's body control. Ellis Miles, beautiful play. Scott Merritt to Wade. Count it. Straight up on the jumper. Utilize the screen. 6-4 Marquette. Gaines lost the handle. Was that a pass to Northern? Northern misses the three attempt. Here comes Marquette. 
Depends on who you ask. I was asking you. That was uh, a pass. Here's Diggs. In there for three. David Diggs off the bench. It's a three ball. And Marquette is out to a 9-4 to four lead. Seema, the big man between the rings. Ellis Miles. The sagging man-to-man -to, -man to take away any dribble drive to the basket. Games coming up a 30-point game yesterday. First team all-conference USA for number 22 out of Madison, Wisconsin. Bryant Northern, very high 25 yesterday. Up by Henry Nopal. Four on the shot clock. O'Bannon. Off the mark, over the backboard. The ball goes to Marquette. After a timeout. We have 15:41 left to play in the first half, and this game is everything we expected from the start. And before Marquette and Miles knifing through to score two for Louisville. More of that straight ahead. Dwayne Wade. These are the shooting guard nominees: Juan Dixon of Maryland, outstanding. So is Casey Jacobson, the top scorer in the Pac-10 out of Stanford. Find out who the winner will be as Suzuki presents ESPN, the College Basketball Award Show during the Final Four week in Atlanta. What do you like out of that group, Jordy? The Maryland man, Juan Dixon. I'm staying with the conference. There you go. I'm running for office. <laughs> I'll go with Wade. He's young, but he's great. What a trip. Oh, here's Henry. Great move to get open, but he couldn't finish the shot. Out of bounds, the ball belongs to the Cardinals. You know, throughout the day, we're going to be updating you on the other college basketball action throughout the country as championship week continues. So we'll see those scores popping up throughout our coverage of Conference USA basketball. Right here, it's 9-4. Marquette leading Louisville, 15-18 and counting in the first half. And Jordy Holberg, I'm John Rooney, and Jim Brinson in Studio 66. Reese Gaines with a nice catch as Namika was all over. And a push foul call. Henry kept hand checking and got called for his first personal foul. Cordell Henry so versatile. They always stick him on the other team's best offensive player. Earlier in the season, he held Dan Dick out to 10 points from Gonzaga. Look at him fight for it now. In position, reaches for it, and a little hand check. They're calling it early because of the physical nature of the game. The shot won't go down for Luke Whitehead. Back comes Marquette. Travis Diener, number 10. Freshman three-point shooter in the lineup for Marquette. And Henry out front. Off the pick set by Harris. Harris and Miles collided. There's some action going on inside. Diggs at the point has a three. He won't get the pass, though. Henry will take the shot. Cordell Henry is on the board. John, tournament time's about players making plays. When offensive sets break down, you have to create. Whitehead is covered inside. Miles goes outside for Brown. A three attempt. All the way out to Diener. Travis Diener running the floor in on Northern, and Northern is called for the foul. That's the second on Bryant Northern. Let's bring in Jim Brenson now. Hey, guys, I was listening to Tom Crean over in the huddle during that last time out. He told his guys, we are not going to change what we're doing right now. Every time we have a chance to take the ball to the basket, that's exactly what I want you to do. You just saw it evidenced in the last two times down here by Marquette. Jordy, what I want to know, if you're Rick Pitino, how do you change things now and get things going in your direction? Well, you've got to control the basketball and develop an inside presence on the offensive end. You've got to get Miles involved more and Whitehead involved. Don't strictly rely on the three because you're not shooting it well right now and then get back on the defensive end help and recover Terry Sanders number 40 in for Marquette uh, Haji Mohammed is in for Louisville number 13 it's Diener missed both free throws but a strong rebound inside and a score for John Harris he'll be on the line vintage Marquette rebounders strength tough physical play go up for the basketball and take it up strong and get the contact was there a little push in the back that's what Rick Pitino was looking for but no call and we have a chance for three the old way Harris on the line banked it, banked it in hello if that's horse wipe it off the board three for Harris Eric Brown committed the foul for U of L four team fouls each way as U of L trails by ten Gaines trying to create something. Brown shoots for two. Whitehead with a follow. 
Look Whitehead score. Always does the little things. Rebounds, deflects passes. I call him the intangible man. Henry up the floor and the ball poked away. However, saved by Harris. Diener shoots a three. Count it. He missed two free throws, but just nailed a three ball. Gives him quality play as a freshman off the bench. Miles inside. Collides with Harris. Offensive foul. Two fouls on Ellis Miles. Miles can't believe the call. Let's go back to the other end of the floor with Diener's shot. Well, we talk about the fact that uh, as Miles, as you see him taking it inside, leans the shoulder in and commits the offensive foul. So Miles has to take a seat with two personals, and that really hurts Louisville's inside presence. Diener with the ball right now. We might see him recreate the three-point shot in a second. Oh, nice. What a spin move by Wade. Diggs had the ball poked away and saved by Wade. Hustle plays, advantage Marquette right now. Every loose ball is theirs. 17 to 6, Marquette. Wayne Wade, what a quick move to his left. The ball spins out and Harris scores. An emotional leader for Marquette. Gets it done with inside position. And right now, they're taking the fight to Louisville. 19 to 6. Big Whitehead playing the point. Reese Gaines has to get active. And there's Gaines. That's a three. Reese Gaines is on the board. Needed him in a bad way at the right time, and he answers. Well, they finally got him free where he had a good look at the basket. They screened down for him and created a mismatch on the switch, and he took advantage. Whitehead with the pressure on Harris. Harris says, what pressure? Seven for John Harris off the bench. You must stop dribble penetration. You can't let somebody go to the basket like that. And there's Brown trying to do the same thing. He was fouled on the drive. You must stop dribble penetration. He gets a full head of steam. Whitehead goes to the steal now. Who's going to come? Seema doesn't. Nobody steps in, and that's to the easy way. David Diggs with the foul on Brown's drive. We have 12-14 left in the first half. Brown and Whitehead go to the bench for U of L. O'Bannon's inbound. Miles back in as well. Miles has a couple of fouls. Reese Gaines shooting a long three. And this one spins off. Seema hustles for the rebound. Gaines penetrating and gets the finger roll. Just a super player with the bounce. Quick to the 10. 10 point lead for Marquette now on Louisville. Lomanamica will check in at the next opportunity for Marquette. He's over the scorer's table. In the meantime, this is Terry Sanders, number 40. Harris with a careless pass. Mohammed. Now Louisville picks up with full court pressure. They've got to limit Marquette to one shot only. No offensive rebounds. The way Louisville can force the tempo of the game can make the other team kind of tired the last few minutes of the ball game. Absolutely. Wade spinning, dishing. Henry will not take the three. Wade will. And we have a foul, foul a hold called in the lane. Before a fast break could break out. Ellis Miles has just been called for his third foul. Wow, wow. They put him back in. What a gamble. And Tom Crane likes what he sees from his club from an aggressive side, but Miles now in serious foul trouble with three. He has to take a seat with 11-18 to go. The Cardinals huddle in the lane. You talked about how Louisville can force the tempo of the ball game, but it's the guard play of Marquette that controls the tempo. With Henry in the lineup, now with Diener as another guard, they have two legitimate point guards, and they can move way to the small forward. That's three outstanding ball handlers to do away from the pressure of Louisville. Terry Sanders to the line with Louisville at the seven foul mark of the first half. Sanders on the line, shooting one and one. He earns a bonus. Sanders, the game at Louisville, did not score in four minutes. And Milwaukee had four points and two rebounds playing 12 minutes against the Cardinals. He's a sophomore from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sanders scores two from the free throw line. 
They have 11 18 to go first half and the Cardinals are going to need a little more play just like this from Reese Gaines to come back against Marquette Marquette leads by 10 and you're watching Conference USA basketball from ESPN plus. Cincinnati Ohio on the Ohio River that's a gorgeous day outside come on inside the first star center college basketball conference USA quarterfinal action our tournament game has Marquette number 10 team of the country leading by 10 over Louisville Louisville had to play yesterday and beat TCU along with Jordy Holberg I'm John Rooney first star center Cincinnati Ohio our first quarterfinal game of the day Jim Brinson is in Studio 66 and Marquette is leading 23-13. One for seven today, three-point shooting for U of O. 15 out of 30 yesterday. What a difference the day makes at this point. But Louisville can strike in a hurry. Otis George, number 52, in the lineup with the ball. Lost it away to Marquette's Dina. Three turnovers for Louisville. Henry on the line, scores a two. Reese Gaines couldn't recover in time, and Henry showed his quickness running the floor. Diener got it to him on the wing, and he knocked it down. Under control. Namika is on Otis Joy. Here's Gaines. Got Henry off his feet and took advantage of it. Realizes he has a size advantage, so he's going to try and take them down low and shoot over the top. Cordell Henry using his speed to get to the front court against Gaines. And now Marquette will play the half-court offense. But Marquette likes to push the ball as well. Oh, they'll take it if available. Diener for three. In there. A great low post screen to pop Diener free up top. And he is automatic. Jordy, I thought the difference in yesterday's game for Louisville against TCU is a long three you won't go for games, and Marquette will come back. But Louisville used the offense to open three-point shots where TCU just let them fly at will. You can see that they are sagging off, cluttering up the lane to take away dribble penetration. George with a foul, just as Namika was headed to the end line. Now, Reese Gaines is realizing the mismatch. He's 6'4", Cordell Henry 5'10". He's not going to block a shot. Stay on the ground, keep him between you and the goal, and it'll be okay. But watch the down screen, double down screen, and Diener, who threw a no-hitter as a senior at Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, comes up and throws a strike in the middle of the basket. Namika on the line. Way up big and strong on the rebound. My goodness. That won't go for Diener. You better put a body on Wade. You cannot out-jump him. The shot won't go for Northern. There's Scott Merritt. Oh, 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 oh. But they couldn't finish. Whitehead throws it in, and the ball will belong to Louisville. Or Dale Henry with the dribble. How quick is he? And Rick Pitino urging his club to take better control of the basketball, take quality shots, and then come on the other end and stop dribble penetration. Haji Muhammad, watched by Cordell Henry. O'Bannon, in a collision with Wade, but no foul call. You see how quickly Wade got up and deflected the ball. Now Wade's called for a foul out of that double team. The first on Dwayne Wade of Marquette. The 16 foul on the Golden Eagles. Tom Green wanted the travel call. Boy, is this team an extension of his personality? Oh, always is. up, always battling as Gaines checks back into the lineup. Green really gets him going. Tom Green was an assistant under Tom Izzo yes. and both coach a physical style of defense. I saw him when he's an assistant at Western Kentucky under Ralph Willard. From the baseline, same thing. Eric Brown off the miss. Loose ball saved in by U of L, and here's Brown. Oh, missing again. Challenges everything. And Merritt cleans the glass, a foul call. John, you do not get a good look at the basket. Marquette is so quick to recover, and they go up and challenge every shot. Luke Whitehead with the foul, trying to take the ball away from Scott Merritt, and sending Merritt to the free throw line for Marquette. 28 to 15, Golden Eagles at 8.59 left in the first half. Scott Merritt, been a pretty good rebounder. He is either tied for the team lead or led in rebounds six times this season. Gives them some size inside. 
The sophomore gets a bonus. Always had a great shooting touch, but he was up and down after his freshman season. His minutes were reduced from 28 a game to 18 a game. Then on January 2nd, Tom Crean said, you're going back in the starting lineup. It gave him confidence. He's been there ever since, and he gives him that size and good inside presence that good teams need. From the free throw line, Marquette, four for seven. Now five out of eight. Merritt hit both of them. A big run by Marquette, up 15, doubling up Louisville. Peter on Muhammad, and a five-second call. The fourth turnover for Louisville. Pressure on the basketball, a desire to defend. And Jordy, this has nothing to do one way or the other, Louisville or Marquette, but I'm glad that rule is back in to reward the defense. Absolutely. You work hard, you should be rewarded. I was glad they brought that back. They test the ball, and there's a five-second play. Gaines is watching Diener, and the count is on right now. There's the switch. Bannon on Diener. The Cordell Henry running the show for Marquette. Down to 18 on the shot clock. Diggs open for three. He hit one earlier, but not this time. Out of bounds to Louisville. Diggs didn't have his feet settled. Kind of shuffled a little bit. It kind of floated on the shot, which made the ball go left. Even at that, Jordy, your point about Marquette crashing the boards, going to the boards when the ball goes up, that's the same on both ends. It's desire. It's intensity. From the double team, Gaines traveled. Oh, what defensive pressure. My, oh, my. Five turnovers for Louisville. Substitute. John Harris back in for Marquette. Let's take a look at the defense Marquette is putting on Louisville. Here's a defender right here, the out-of-bounds line. So you've got one, there's two, and there's three. You, and now Gaines has nowhere to go, and Crean extolling his club on. There's the clock. Great defensive pressure. Back to live action. A three-point attempt goes for Luminamica. He has five in the first half. With white hit. Number 55 is Joseph Sima. Look how they sag off of Sima. Clock the lane. And Namika is all over Gaines. And Gaines just you put the basketball on Namika's back and then in the basket. Physical, strong. 33-17, Marquette. Diggs gets to the baseline and O'Bannon. Harris finds Henry, and there's Diener. What movement? Wraparound pass going to the baseline for David Diggs, and he's pushed out of bounds. John, that's an unselfish ball club. Excellent movement of the basketball, giving up good looks to get a teammate closer to the basket with an at attempt to shoot him. Alaji Muhammad with his first foul. That's team foul number 10. Two shots now for Marquette the rest of the first half. That funnels in for Diggs. Diggs has four, looking for his fifth point with 7.23 to go in the first half. Marquette, the number 10 team in the country, the number two seed in this tournament. Cincinnati's the number one seed. And Diggs has five. Marquette is leading 35 to 17. But watch Reese Gaines as he goes strong to the basket, trying to bring Louisville back into this game in Conference USA. Right now, it's Marquette's game in the first half with seven minutes and 23 seconds to go. Time to take a look at the Army of One, brought to you by the United States Army. And here is Marquette's tournament resume. 24-5 record, 26 RPI, and big wins against Indiana and Cincinnati. They've had losses against Cincinnati, Wake Forest, Wisconsin. That can weigh in their favor. Their season really turned around early for Tom Crean. When they went out to Alaska, they beat Tennessee, Indiana, and Gonzaga. They went in as nobodies, and they came out with a lot of attention, and they carried it on throughout the season. We saw what happened after Marquette got up to a very slow start. Really picked up shooting and leads 35-17 in the first half. Isolation. And handled very well by Illuminamica. Here's O'Bannon going knifing through the lane. Give him seven. Correction, give O'Bannon four in the first half. So much attention focused on Reese. That left O'Bannon open to go to the basket. O'Bannon hit the first basket for Louisville. He just got their most recent. What do you think Whitehead's thinking right now as he's guarding Cordell Henry? All right, now they make the switch. Henry watched by Muhammad. 
Dominica. He'll have to bring it back up. Louisville he provides the help. Picking up the intensity on the defensive end. Now six on the shot clock. A shot for three. Diggs is short. He's one for three from three-point range. Muhammad with the outlet. O'Bannon low for an open white head. Easy basket. That's the kind of trips that Louisville needs to get back in the game. Great defensive pressure. Limit them to one shot. And then good looks at the basket. Near steal by Louisville. Namaka throws it away to O'Bannon who steps up and scores. Another score off defense. And a timeout called by Marquette. And Louisville's fans on their feet. 30 second timeout. Another run. And O'Bannon got it done early as the defense was focused on Reese Gaines. He just drives all the way, uses the opposite hand, and flips it in. And then on the offensive end, look up the floor. Big fellas keep running. Whitehead gets the recipient of the easy pass and lay in. And then they turn around real quick, John, and force a turnover. And here comes another lay in. So quick, quick, quick points. And the spurred ability of Louisville has their club fired up and their fans back in the game. Sensing a momentum swing, Tom Green called a timeout. Also had a word with the officials about the pressure of the inbounds pass. He wanted some contact called there. It wasn't called, and Louisville has scored a couple of baskets off its defense. And Louisville all year long has been a team of spurts. 9-0 runs, 10-0 runs. So they're quickly capable of getting right back into a ball game. Cordell Henry in the backcourt. Does he break pressure? All the way through to Wade, the spin! Oh, it didn't fall for him. Luke Whitehead is there for U of L. Everything looked good except the end of the play. Whitehead avoiding contact, but he can't score on the other end. Seema battling. And Seema throws the ball into the backcourt. But it was touched by one of the Marquette players inside. There's no backcourt violation there. Good no call. Offensive foul on Reese Gaines, his first. Cordell Henry helped up by his teammates. Looking for the number of that truck. And you saw Rick Pitino going, yes, good call. So the intensity is really picked up. Gaines with the bounce. Look at Henry slide, plant, and fall back. Mm -hmm. Close, close call. That one went to Marquette. Out of bounds to U of L. With Whitehead, a fine maneuver on the sideline. A call questioned by Tom Cream. We talked about Marquette throwing the first series of punches. Now, Louisville fighting back. Big possession. Gaines with a mismatch down low. Shima using up the dribble. O'Bannon to the end line. White jerseys around the basket. O'Bannon went for the loose ball. A foul called inside against Louisville. O'Bannon frustrated by the miss. Went up and followed it up with a foul. That's O'Bannon's first foul. Louisville is over the 10 foul limit in the first half. So Marquette is shooting two shots the rest of the way. We have 5-12 to go until halftime. Our American Century halftime report with Jim Brooks. 35-23 Marquette. And John Harris is on the line. Harris completed a three-point play with a free throw earlier in our game. John Harris out of Edwardsville, Illinois. A key sub for Tom Crean this season. A oh, physical player. Really bangs his body around as you see fresh players in the lineup. Well, Darte Blankson started the game, picked up two quick fouls. Now he's back in. Namika and Diener go out. The second shot in play for Harris with 5-12 to go in the first half. Harris made both of them. Nine first half points for John Harris. I'll be Marquette with 37-23 advantage in the first half. You see the time ticking down to five minutes to go in the first 20 minutes of play. Hughes back door to Whitehead. Surgically dissected, and it's very difficult to defend when you're moving. The press is broken. Blankson and Seema got a hand on the ball. We have a foul against Marquette. 
on the offensive end, if you move your bodies, watch the screen, and then the back door, right there, and for the easy lay-in, you screen, you cause a switch, and then you get the good look, and you take it up strong. Excellent offensive execution. Whitehead with another bucket. But Dwayne Wade, second foul. That's 17 fouls on Marquette, meaning Louisville will shoot a one and one. This is the first free throw of the game for the Cardinals. A bonus for Reese Gaines. He has 10 points now, coming off 30 yesterday against the Horn Frogs. And what a double double he had, as you can see, Marquette really taking advantage of the free throw line. Gaines also with 10 assists, a double double of the offensive variety. 11 for Gaines. A 10 point lead for Marquette. Wardell Henry has scored four points today. He had games of eight points and 23 during the regular season against Louisville. He loves senior guard play. There's no such thing as pressure when the ball's in his hand. To do well in the NCAA tournament, you have to have experienced guard play. Absolutely. Off the weave, Henry was open, kicks it out to Diener, shooting two this time. Harris up big and strong on the rebound. He'll fan it out to Henry. Henry used up the dribble. Adarte Blankson hanging. With the miss shot in the rebound, they got a new shot clock, so Marquette will reset here with the shot clock down to 20 seconds. Henry, a three attempt, count it! Bullseye! Quick with the dribble, makes the defender play off, and he rises to the occasion. Joseph Seema at the point. The big man will give it up. With Whitehead. Muhammad looking to the baseline. Takes it into the lane and a shot called against Marquette's Merritt. The first foul on Scott Merritt. Eighth team foul on the Golden Eagles. Alhaji Muhammad out of Country Club Hills, Illinois, by way of Ventura College to the University of Louisville. Got a pretty good brother. Nazi Muhammad played at Kentucky and now with the Atlanta Hawks. Missed the front end of a one and one. And Marquette was fighting for the loose ball at the end line. Harris couldn't get it and was knocked out of bounds. The ball will belong to Louisville when we come back. With a 40 to 27 lead for Marquette. Behind the floor leadership of Cordell Henry. And you're watching Conference USA Basketball from ESPN Plus. Seven Marquette out in front of Louisville here in our first game today in the Conference USA Tournament in the quarterfinals. Hello, everybody. Jim Brinson here in Studio 66. Coming up on the American Century Halftime Report, we're going to bring you scores from other college basketball tournaments around the country and a special feature on Reese Gaines. That's all coming your way at halftime, guys. All right, Jim Brinson in a nice dry suit today covering the action for us courtside. Those South Florida fans nailed him last night. <laughs> uh, as you see that uh, Xavier and UMass tied up. Pittsburgh up 14 and Kent State in the MAC over Marshall. Bye bye. And they're busy in the Big 12. We'll follow all of the action around the country for you and update scores throughout our games in Conference USA. Brian Northern today has not scored for U of L. And the ball is out of bounds, Louisville. But remember this, Linda. John, he didn't score very much in the first half yesterday, but he came out and hit four straight buckets in the second to really propel Louisville, so don't give up on him yet. He finished eight for nine from the field, six out of seven from three-point range. We're talking about Brian Northern, who has not been effective at all in the first half for Louisville. Hasn't been on the floor then. Inside, outside. O'Bannon, too strong. Seema with the rebound. Gaines misses his attempt from out front. Seema runs it down. How about his hustle? And Seema gets back up from the floor in front of the Marquette bench to rejoin the offense. You can see Marquette in a zone for the first time. Really a 2-3. Whitehead against the taller Merritt. Merritt knocks the ball out of bounds. 16 on the shot clock for U of L as the Cardinals will inbound. Whitehead taking the ball to the basket, and Merritt says uh, not today. Whitehead had a step on Merritt, but Merritt had the size advantage. Long arms. Mohammed moving into the lane, finding Whitehead for the open shot. Marquette rebound inside, or Darte Blankson. He averages 6.5 rebounds a game. Shots that were dropping yesterday for Louisville today are not. A good look. Couldn't get it to go. 
Cordell Henry. He has seven first half points. Beaner has a couple of three point baskets in the first half. And that's going away to Louisville Zobana. Five turnovers for the Golden Eagles. O'Bannon from the three point line. Under two and a half minutes left in our first half. O'Bannon indicating the set play. He'll bring it out front. Go back to man to man. Wide hit from the high post. Trying to go back door to Gaines, just throws it away. That's seven turnovers for the Cardinals in the first half. They played for Whitehead to come, uh, for Gaines to come off the screen and pop out to the top. He went back door where they got some help from some taller players, had to throw the lob pass, it went out of bounds. Aluminamica just back in the game, inbound of the ball, Henry all the way to the front court. And John Harris gave Marquette a nice stretch off the bench today, scoring nine points and playing very good defense. Nice anticipation, Seema has picked up his game late in the first half. Six turnovers for Marquette. And here's Seema making the move. Picking it out to Gaines. Strong inside. Seema can't score, but he is all over the place. Joseph Seema to the line. Working extremely hard. Five rebounds for Seema. I'm a big believer, John, in finishing the half strong. I think it's very important. Watch the good inside presence by Seema to strip it, save it, and gather it. Then on the other end, offensive rebounds, really a factor keeping Louisville in the hunt down 13. Seema with the five rebounds. Three have been on the offensive end. Scott Merritt fouled him, putting Seema on the line with a minute 37 to go in the first half. One more shot coming for Seema, a 47% shooter from the strike. And that shot looked like it. Wide left. He's a maximum effort guy on the board, yes. isn't he? Yes. Great hustle. Both teams pride themselves, and they, they give statistics on the hustle plays, and they, it's very important in their philosophy. On the free throw line, Louisville is shooting its fifth free throw and a miss by Seema and a timeout call. That's alert. a little I don't like. Alert play though. But it is a very alert play. Yeah. It's in the book and Marquette made very good use of it. A 30 second timeout. You can follow all 14 Conference USA teams on the league's official website www.c-usasports.com the site contains up-to-date notes, stats, and box scores, as well as information on the league's other 18 sports. So tune in for the latest news across Conference USA by pointing your browser to www.c-usasports.com, as Jordy Holberg does every day yes, doing his homework for these games. I use it often. Rick Patino, Boston U to Providence, Kentucky, and Louisville Final Four teams. At Providence, Billy Donovan, who coaches now at Florida, played for Patino at Providence. In Kentucky, been to the Final Four and winning the 95-96 national he, championship. He turns it around in a hurry, doesn't he? And then he sustains it. Great to have him back in college basketball. The great coaches in this league. Patino, experience, and Tom Green, up-and-coming coach, longtime assistant, finally getting a chance to run his program at Marquette and making full use of it. There's Whitehead, like I talked about earlier. Does all the little things. Hustle plays, gets after it. Does the little things to help your team win. Marquette's ball with Whitehead knocking the ball out of bounds. 40-27 Marquette. Merritt in, Harris out. Diggs inbounding to Cordell Henry. Diener trying to force it into Namaka, threw it away. Three straight trips with three turnovers, and that's seven now. Eric Brown on the steal. Not the way you want to finish a half if you're Marquette. No shots at the basket. O'Bannon. Whitehead stepping up, and he's fouled. Namaka attempting to block the shot. He picks up the foul, his second. We have 58.3 seconds to go until halftime. Whitehead to the free throw line. Where Louisville has gone two for five. Whitehead, three for eight from the field. Three rebounds. Followed his father to Louisville. His father played under the legendary Peck Hickman. He decided to play where his daddy played. Sanders comes in for Namaka. 
One more shot for Whitehead. Under one minute to go in the first half. And Cincinnati, Conference USA, quarterfinal action between Louisville and Marquette. It's an 11 point game. Louisville would love to get it under into single digits before the half. They got to come up with a defensive stop. Well, I expect Marquette to eat up a little bit of the clock in the first half. It's 26 seconds and counting on the shot clock. Deaner at the point. Cordell Henry. Guarded by the taller O'Bannon. Henry will take the shot and knock it down. Beautiful. What elevation on the jumper. 42-29 Marquette. Henry has nine first half points for Marquette. Shot clock is off. Good double team to get the ball out of Gaines' hands. O'Bannon. Brown from the corner. Missed the three shot and a foul against Louisville with 14 seconds left in the half. It's on Luke Whitehead, his second personal foul. With 14 seconds left, the players walk to the other end of the floor to Marquette's in to Terry Sanders to toe the line. Hometown board from Milwaukee. He's made two free throws today. Marquette is 9 out of 12 from the line. Short with his first one. Some encouragement from his teammates at the foul line. Number 52, Otis George in. Remember that Louisville's had to play the majority of this first half with Ellis Miles on the bench with three fouls, and that's been a factor in getting Marquette to the basket with rebounding capabilities. Brian Northern has not scored in the first half. He hasn't been on the floor very much. He has two fouls. Sanders missed both of them. Diggs trying to get the rebound. Seema says no, no. The final seconds of the first half. Reese Gaines is pressured by Harris and Henry, and we have a foul called against Marquette. John Harris is whistled for his first foul. Stop in the clock with 2.3 seconds left until halftime, putting Reese Gaines on the line. 86% shooter on the year. We'd love to have him on the line. He's two for two today. Number 2-2 two -two is two for two. Two for three. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. That was in and out. One shot here with 2.3 seconds left in the first half. That one rattled in for games. 12 first half points. One shot off the glass at the end of the first half. An interesting first half that goes to Marquette. 42 to 30 with Rick Patino taking his Louisville Cardinals into the locker room for halftime discussions. We have a lot to talk about coming up on our American Century Halftime Report with Jim Brinson shortly. As Jim will be getting set. In fact, let's go to Jim with Tom Crean before we get to our report. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, Coach, quickly, you had the control of the game early. You went out to a nice lead. Then you knew Louisville was going to rally and come back, and they did. Yeah, they're a good team. We're playing good, solid defense, so we just got to continue to build on that. Keep challenging the three, and hopefully uh, we'll keep them off the glass a little bit better than we did in the second half. Thank you. Really like thank you. Tom Crean, uh, guys, let's go back to you, John. And Tom in a hurry to get to the locker room <laughs> to talk with his team. Marquette is leading 42-30. We've had some fast action in the first half. We'll take a look at it later on on the American Century Halftime Report from Studio 66. It begins after this. Partner, Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Gatorade, is it at you? Jordy Holberg, Jim Brinson, I'm John Rooney. Conference USA Tournament action at halftime. 42-30 in favor of Marquette over Louisville. See Steve Wilmer holding the basketball, getting ready for the second half as we check out our leading scores from the first half, and one of them was not Brian Northern. Has gained score 12, Whitehead 8, O'Bannon 6, Henry and Harris 9 each. A couple of players with 5. Brian Northern. 25 points, 6 of 7 from three point range yesterday. 0 for 3 from the field today. We'll see if he lights it up the second half like he did yesterday, Jordan. He came out of the halftime with four quick buckets, three from way deep. So it's within his capabilities, and Louisville could use a shot in the arm as they trail by a dozen. You notice that Miles is not back in the lineup. With, Whitehead. With three fouls, he's still sitting. Seema, Northern, Whitehead, Gaines, and O'Bannon on the floor for Louisville. Henry meets Northern out front. 
Roman Namaka is watching Luke Whitehead. Langston on games. Odom was open from deep range all the way down to Seema. And he couldn't close the, the deal, but Whitehead does. Henry may have tweaked his ankle a little bit on the play, and that gave the free look to the basket. Whitehead does it again. Marquez having trouble in bounding the ball, and just avoids a turnover from the double team. Nice hook pass by Dwayne Wade. Blanks it to Merritt. Merritt is fouled. And how about Marquette running the floor? Getting it done, and that's just not a good foul. If you're going to foul, do not let the player take the ball to the basket. Give it up at the right time. Now, if you're going to foul, you've got to commit to the foul and foul hard. Don't give a little nudge and let him lay it in. Just push him to the basket. Yep. Second foul on Joseph Seaman. Merritt on the line, attempting a three-point play. Scott Merritt has five. Marquette lead is 45-32. We're just getting started in the second half. Marquette, the number two seed in the tournament, number one seed Cincinnati plays tonight against South Florida. O'Bannon looking low, nothing there. And contact and a foul call. Zima, Zima picked up his third. And Cordell Henry. As you can see, Cordell Henry with a little inside, a little outside, nine points, but getting it done on the defensive end. He moves his feet so well, has great balance on the floor. He doesn't have to score, Jordy, to help Marquette. No. Trying to handle the ball. Namaka lost it going into the lane. Here's Gaines. No foul call. Northern thinking about it. Langston takes away his outside shot. Too big. Too much of a reach. Merritt on Seymour. Whitehead has scored 10 points off the bench today. This is O'Bannon. And the tip. Is that going to be Whitehead? Absolutely. Here's a shot for three. Won't go for Namaka. Gaines in Louisville. Louisville with a chance to get it to single digits. The halftime score was 42-30 by Kev. 45-34 now. Louisville must utilize screens. Watch the screen down for Gaines. Did such a good job of that yesterday against TCU. Whitehead through the contact. Luke Whitehead with the free throw line. He has scored a couple of free throws today in his 12 points. No way the ball was going to go in the hole, but at least he was aggressive in taking the ball to the basket and make the officials blow the whistle. Scott Merritt has three personal fouls. White has really worked on his shot. Shot a flat ball earlier. Now he's got to bend his knees and get the ball up perfectly. Whitehead has 13 points, 3 for 3 from the line, 5 for 10 from the field. Merritt and Blankson go out. Harris back in along with Travis Diener changes in the Marquette lineup. One more shot here for Luke Whitehead from San Francisco, California. If he makes the free throw, look for full court pressure. Or oh, he misses. Namaka on the rebound. Cordell Henry watched by Bryant Northern. And the ball squirt through his hands like a bar of soap and gains on the other end. Missed the layup. Dwayne Wade back the other way to Diener in the front court. Wade with a cross-court pass. Henry, a three attempt. Count it. I love him. What a player. The youngest, littlest man on the court can fill it up. 48-35, Marquette. Miles in the game, setting the pick. Northern out of control. My, uh, the pickup by Whitehead, he can't score. Here comes Marquette, 17 09 and counting in the second half. Dean are out front this time. Cordell Henry inside Northern. He'll bring it back up. So quick with the bounce. Henry trying to feed. He was looking for Wade, who cut toward the baseline. It's great if you can get the ball to the corner and skip pass along the baseline. There's the free, and there's the three. Henry fills it up. The well, Marquette just committed its 10th turnover of the day, giving Louisville the ball. 
Northern has not scored. Miles on Harris. Nice. To an open Whitehead. They went to double down. The guard did not drop down soon enough, and Whitehead get the easy lay-in. And as Miles got the assist, he has better than 50 assists this season. Oh, he breaks the traffic. But Henry dribbled off somebody's foot, and here comes Louisville. Gaines will be on the line shooting two. Namika couldn't get back quickly enough. The tempo of the game favors Louisville right now. Watch Henry with the dribble. Does it hit someone's foot? Yes, it does. Should have reset, come back the other way, but Gaines takes it and goes to the hole and draws the foul. Aluminamica committed his third foul. Gaines on the line. 13 for Gaines. Rick Pitino loves his team's chemistry. He loves how they work. That's why he's never going to give up, and his team is always in the hunt down 10. Second shot in play now for Gaines. 16-24 left in the second half. It is a nine-point game. Henry to inbound. 48-39 Marquette. 14 points for Reese Gaines after his two made free throws. Pressure on the inbounds play. Broken down by Henry and Wade. Henry in the front court. And he was hit by Eric Brown. The second foul on Eric Brown. The 13th foul on Yuval in the second half. That looked like one of your two-step moves as he hesitated, brought it back, and Brown just couldn't stop. I don't two-step. That's not what I've heard. I take about 25 seconds. <laughs> Wade on the three-point line. Tough shot. He just forced it up there. Will it buy a shot into Ellis Miles' hands? Here comes the Cardinals. Miles looking for Eric Burn. 20 on the shot. Point. A foul inside. Miles was able to get to the basket. You see the difference that Miles makes for Louisville. Crowd on their feet. They work him down low, and he is a threat to score. Without him in the lineup, Louisville becomes entirely perimeter oriented. Miles made it to the baseline. John Harris fouled him. Miles hit one field goal in the first half. He averages 9.3 points a game. He's only a 46% shooter at the strike. Perfect on the first one. Look good there. It's an eight-point game. Rick Pitino's club has produced 29 runs this season of eight, zero, or better. They are capable. Game far from over with a lot of time left. 15-50 to go in the second half. The Louisville trying to close in. There's another point knocked off the lead. Miles has scored four points. Reeves Gaines has 14 points today, and that's a mad bird right there with Louisville. Attempting to crawl back into the game, down by seven in the second half. The brackets are coming. The brackets are coming. This March, take the CBS 58 Tournament Challenge. The excitement tips off Sunday, March 10th at 5 p.m. with the Tournament Selection Show, exclusively on CBS 58 Milwaukee. Legendary Al McGuire told Tom Green was for this team to succeed, Cordell Henry would have to buy into the team system and become a complete basketball player. He is now the consummate floor general, understands his role, and plays to his capabilities night in and night out. Here comes Henry up the floor. He's scored in double digits now, 23 games this season with a 12-point effort today, including two three-point baskets. Marquette's lead has been cut to 48 to 41. Marquette had two leads of 18 points in the first half. Louisville doing a better job on the defensive end, taking away what Marquette likes to do and causing turnovers. Muhammad and it was saved by Harris. Harris splitting a double team, trying to dump it low for Sanders, who wasn't looking for the ball. It's the frenetic pace that Louisville likes. Marquette a little bit unraveling right now for Tom Green. Boy, is this a big possession. You think the Cardinal fans will erupt if they get a bucket here? They're right now at the edge of their seats. 12 turnovers for Marquette. Miles has scored four points. Brown hounded 
by Dino. O'Bannon knifing through and a foul on Marquette. With Sanders hitting the deck, Terry just committed his first foul. One dribble too many. Sometimes you have to stop and give what the defense allows, and that time he took it one step too close. 48-41 Marquette. In fact, the foul goes against Louisville. Not on Sanders. All right, offensive foul. But the offensive foul mark get back the other way. Henry knifing through traffic. How good is that? Sanders out to Henry to Diener. <laughs> what hustle. Cordell Henry steps up and is fouled from behind by Whitehead. You saw a little bit of everything from Cordell Henry. You saw his ability to dribble the basketball. You saw his ability to jump and get rebounds. You saw his ability to hustle on the floor and deflect it back to his teammate and then drive into the basket, drawing the foul. Did it all for Marquette. The third foul on Whitehead. Two for Cordell Henry here. He's on the line for the first time today. Shoots 82% this season. How about that? He did it again. We'll have another attempt at it. Muhammad out of the lineup for U of L. This shot is in play for Cordell Henry, the senior from Whitney Young High School in Chicago. Henry with 13 points. The games of 8 and 23 points against Louisville in the regular year. Eight point lead for Marquette. Louisville has managed to shave 10 points off Marquette's biggest lead. Northern blocked by Sanders out of bounds. Love to see Gaines get it on the low block with Henry guarding him and try and shoot over the top. Northern exposure? Yeah, he was exposed and ricocheted out of bounds. On the inbounds, we have a hold with Miles accepting the pass and grab by Sanders. There is Sanders' first foul. Right Great low post positioning by Ellis Miles as he sealed the defender on his hip and got the pass and drew the foul. Four team fouls on Marquette in the second half. Five for U of L. O'Bannon way out to Northern. Northern dropping it low for Miles, and he finishes in heavy traffic. He was being guided by Dwayne Wade, and Wade didn't bother him at all. Conference USA basketball with Jordy Holberg, Jim Brenson. I'm John Rooney. Quarterfinal action. Marquette having trouble inbounding the ball and leading 49-43 over Louisville. Closest it's been in a long, long time. Wade has not been an offensive factor today. He's trying to be on this exchange, but the volley goes to Northern and Louisville. Hold on to your seats. Baseline jumper, white hit, knocks it down. He has 17 off the bench. Run, Cardinals run. Here we go. From 18 points down to four. And we have a full timeout call. As Marquette comes into the front court, we have a timeout. And it's a ball game again. 13-40 left in the second half. Marquette's lead down to four. And you're watching Conference USA Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Shooting the rock brought to you by Rolling Rock. Why not grab a rock? Marquette two for seven in the second half. Louisville five out of 11. And for Dwayne Wade, it has been like shooting the brick. Yeah, very good today. Very frustrated. They've switched men on him time and time again, and he's had no good looks at the basket. Wade one for nine from the field. Marquette's ball after the timeout. And Louisville turning up the heat, turning up the pressure. Gains all over Diener. Up front, Henry watched by Northern. Double team on Wade. Ten on the shot clock. Henry trying to create something, and boy, did he hit the deck. Miles just picked up his fourth foul. It's all about players making plays. I've said it time and time again. The shot clock was a factor. Louisville was doing a great job of pressuring the basketball, but Cordell Henry, quick with the bounce and listen. Listen to this. Ouch. That's what it sounds like there on the floor, and Henry, shaking off the sting, goes to the line. Miles 
Can't believe he just picked up his fourth foul. One more shot for Henry, who has missed two free throws today. 82% for the year, and Henry is one for three from the line. Second shot in play for Henry with 13 16 to go in the second half. 14 points for Cordell. He averages 14 5 a game. Remember the time 13 minutes and change when Miles 13 went to the 13. Seat. Let's see what happens. Northern. He is not yet on the board today. Had to alter the shot and hang a little bit longer than he would like to. And that's why he didn't get the good roll. Northern's over for five from the field. Gans watches Cordell Henry. 1250 and counting. Spreading the floor for some penetration from Henry if you need it with the shot clock. Romanamica. He'll take the shot. It goes in and he's fouled. A line drive shot through the net. The foul on Whitehead. The young man that speaks Swedish, English, and French. It all comes down to making a play and sticking it in the hole. He has a chance for three. The foul on Whitehead is Whitehead's fourth. Good jump stop, right? Under control, follow through. There's a nice English on that shot. Oh, that was beautiful. The lead, 53-45 for Marquette. Simo watched by Merritt. O'Bannon blocked by Merritt out of bounds. Oh, it's nice to have that six foot ten with a wingspan come from the weak side and send it away. You think you have a good look at the basket, but here he comes, and no, another seen, block. Seen Merritt do that two or three times today. Or size, you love it. Gotta have it. O'Bannon and the game. James has two free throws in the second half. Whitehead wasn't looking for the pass at the baseline. Off his hands, 10 turnovers for Louisville. The shot was there. Should have taken it. One too many passes. Now the interior players were looking for a rebound. Yes. Namika looking for help. Merritt provides that. Goes up strong. Now that is a big time post play. The drop step, avoided traffic, and the delicate touch. Merritt has seven. 55 45. Back to a 10 point game. Oh, Bannon counted from the corner. And Louisville finally hits a three ball. It's a 55 48 Marquette lead. It was down to four just a few minutes ago. Here's Henry. It's out of bounds. Marquette's ball. Larry O'Bannon was there at the end line for Louisville. 11 29 to go. A lot of energy in our game today. Our first quarterfinal game in the Conference USA tournament. Marquette has built a 55 48 lead. And look at the hustle, the determination. It all continues after these words. We'll be right back to Cincinnati. First star center on the Ohio River. And we have a good job in the city as we're rolling down the river inside First Star Center. Game one of our quarterfinal. Louisville and Marquette, the number 10 team in the country, has a 55 to 48 lead. Comes down now to defensive intensity and rebounding for Louisville. So they can get some steals, deflections, and on the break. Louisville has cut the lead to four, and Marquette is on a roll and on offense after the timeout. Henry for three. Spins off to Reese Gaines. Now to see what the Cardinals can do with this possession. Reese Gaines has five rebounds. Miles back in the lineup with four fouls. He's got to be careful. Number 52 is Otis George. O'Bannon off his hands to Illuminamica. 11 turnovers for U of L. That the unforced nature. Cordell Henry making sure there wasn't a five second count on. Travis Diener to Nama. Dropping it to Merritt. Merritt to the line. Miles came up to meet him. 
But the foul is on Otis George, and here's Jim Brinson. Fellas, I listened in a little bit with Rick Pitino during that last time out. He pleaded with his players over and over and over again, look, you guys are right there. You have fought all the way to get back into this game. Don't let it slip away right now. Keep your head up. Continue to play with great intensity. Try not to make the major mistake. Of course, they just turned the ball over in that last sequence, but that was the essence of his speech during the timeout, guys. All right, Jim. Merritt makes his eighth point. Rick Patino. His Cardinals have won 18 games in his first year of coaching. Louisville is there on the ball. And Louisville really turned it around with that big win against Cincinnati. It really lifted their confidence, made them believers. They followed that up with a big win over Charlotte. Two quality wins. And now, first round win. And here we go against Marquette in the hunt with 10.44 to go. Two free throws for Merritt. He's five for five from the line in his nine points. 57-48. The game has shifted back in Marquette's favor. It's it's a, oh, it's it's a, just all over Brian Norman. Gaines found a seam and was hammered inside. Gaines took it up knowing that the contact was coming. You were absolutely correct with Henry, and that's Blankson with his third foul on the day. Great defense by Cordell Henry, but Gaines took it with a purpose. Reese Gaines on the line. He has 14 points. Another free throw coming for Gaines. Big difference today for Louisville as compared to yesterday is that TCU didn't challenge the shots. Marquette gets a hand up everywhere. Another make for Gaines. 16 for Gaines. He's 7 or 8, 7 of 8 from the free throw line. Here's the pressure for Louisville on Marquette. The Louisville fans wanted a turnover. The ball is in Henry's hands now. Watched by Brian Norton. Look how they spread the floor. Give him room to operate. Namaka kick ball. Kicked by O'Bannon. New 35 second clock and 10 08 to go in the second half with Marquette in front of Louisville by seven. Very much a winnable game for Louisville right now. This is a game that Rick Patino is trying to keep his team as aggressive as possible. They close the gap to four. Now it's a seven point game. And here's Whitehead. 13th turnover for Marquette. Gaines. Marquette with a four-point lead and the ball. And Namaka up the sideline, hounded by Whitehead. Henry stopping, popping. It won't go. Henry saves it into Blankson. Cordell weaving through traffic, scores this time. What a player. What a player. What maneuverability. Whitehead. He didn't answer on the other end. Merritt to Henry. Marquette by six now. Oh, does he want the ball in his hands or what? Wade. And he'll go to the line. He hit the deck, but he hit the shot. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And Dwayne Wade gets one to drop. But Jordy, one of the few open shots yes. Wade has had all day. Absolutely. Guard to guard. A little help from my teammate. One bounce goes straight up. Look at the elevation. Kicks the leg out, draws the foul, and he'll step to the line. Brant Norton committed his third foul. Number three, foul number three. He kicked that leg out and that forced the contact. That's a smart offensive play. A three-point play for number three. Wade has five. And every time Louisville gets close, Marquette comes up with a big play to widen the gap. What a difference it could have been had Whitehead hit the shot the last time down. Northern having some trouble. Back out front it comes, and a timeout called by Gaines. And Henry was still contesting Gaines after Gaines called the timeout, and Henry took a look to Al Lusk. And I didn't foul him, did I? I'm surprised he doesn't follow him to the huddle. He's all over him. That's the kind of defense Cordell Henry plays. Even when he doesn't score a lot, he had an eight-point game against Louisville this season, yet uh, he played very, very big on the defensive end. And John Harris, to see number 34, he's had a good game off the bench today with nine. A lot of 
coaches around this league call Cordell Henry the biggest recruiting mistake for a lot of coaches in Gaines and company. Listen up. As, as Gaines is in the huddle, he has 19 points. Now let's recap what happened in the first round. Louisville scoring 110 points to set a single game record for Conference USA tournament play, beat TCU. Houston over East Carolina. South Florida outlasted UAB, and Tulane upended St. Louis. So here we have Marquette drawing a first round by as a number two seed playing Louisville today. Memphis and Houston will be coming up for their third meeting this season after this game. Big possession for Louisville right here. And with the whistle. Foul called. Four now on Odarte Blankson. Miles. <laughs> Dwayne Wade as Wade went past him. He's kind of dropped that shoulder there, letting him know I'm still out here. Wade has had a tough time trying to get open for shots today, but so is Northern. Wade is on Northern now. Northern is not the score. Reese Gaines on the fadeaway. Oh, perfect. And there's the size advantage, the mismatch that Louisville utilized, and they got points on the board. Cordell Henry streaking to the front court for Marquette. All the way him. in. Touchdown. You can't catch him. He's too quick. 18 for Henry. 64-55, Marquette. He looked like a running back going through the defense. Cordell Henry holds the fist up. He's winded and wants a break. Brown with Henry poking the ball free and Wade. Balls to the floor with the basketball. You, Travis you, Diener off the bench. You put the, the stopwatch on this. Here we go. It's off to the races. Can they catch him? No, they can't. So quick. And the lay-in. And the wonder. He needs a rest. That boy is fast. Marquette got a timeout out of that flurry. The ball stopped at the end line. Just a 30-second timeout. With Marquette leading 64-55, to 55. it was a 12-point game at halftime. There's the horn to bring the players back out onto the court. The number two seed Marquette against number seven Louisville. Louisville eliminated TCU yesterday in Billy Tubbs' last game with the horn frog. And we wish Coach Tubbs all the best. Absolutely. Great career. And don't be surprised if he turns up somewhere else to coach again. Marquette's basketball after the timeout. Travis Diener indeed gives Henry a break. Well, if I'm Marquette, I get inside to Merritt and see if Miles commits another foul. Wade hanging through the ball away. Didn't really know what he wanted to do with the ball. Gains on the steal and mishandled by O'Bannon out of bounds. A timeout was 7.52 left in the second half of our quarterfinal game. Marquette 64, Louisville 55. The emotion from the sidelines with Tom Crean, Rick Patino. You're watching Conference USA Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Number 10, Marquette, looking for win number 25. Louisville is 18 and 11, hoping for a shot at the NCAA tournament. Here's our foul trouble as we have 7.52 to go in the second half. Miles and Whitehead at four, Northern Seaman, Seaman that is with three, and we have Blankson with four, Merritt has three, and Namaka has three. It has been a physical game throughout. But Joseph Seema, he needs to be on the floor. Jordy, this guy rebounds and seems to give Louisville a lift from that side of the game. He's an offensive liability, but he does defend, block shots, and rebounds. You're right. This is Travis Diener. Cordell Henry is getting a break over on the bench for Marquette. Whitehead moved his feet very well, guarding a small guard. Wade. Tried to find Merritt at the end line, but that was picked off beautifully. Guess who's coming back in for Marquette? Henry will be back yes. in. Nice steal, though, from Miles on the other end of the floor. Each possession gets bigger and bigger now for U of L. Muhammad, a three. Alhaji Muhammad has five points. Here we go again. Got it to six. Wade hanging, fanning it out to Diener. Namaka. 
The tip won't go for Merritt. The foul inside. And Wade kept it alive twice. And Miles will foul out. Miles is gone with six minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the second half. Six points, one rebound today for Miles. Watch how Wade gets up, almost gets the tip, but watch the recoil and go up, and uh, there it is, the foul. Tough call, but uh, wow, Miles has to take a seat. So he fouls out with six points and a rebound. Miles yesterday in 21 minutes against TCU had 12 points, seven rebounds, an assist, a block, a couple of steals. Pretty good ball game. A sophomore from Compton, California. Second to Kelly Wise in Conference USA rebound. And as you said, Seema checked to the lineup. Now remember, Whitehead has four fouls as well. Joseph Seema with three. On the line, David Diggs. Diggs is two for two today for Marquette, leading 64-58 with 6.55 to play. Langston and Henry will come back in at the next buzzer. Here's David Diggs out of Dayton, Ohio. One more free throw coming his way. Free throws may become a factor for Marquette. They've had many opportunities at the line that they have not answered. 16 out of 24 for the Golden Eagles. This shot's in play. He made that one. Six points for David Diggs. He averages 3.2 a game. Diggs out. Blankson checks back in. He with foul trouble as well. Blankson has four. Namaga and Merritt playing with three fouls. Luke Whitehead is playing with four fouls. Clear out. Let him take him to the basket. Gaines takes the shot. Ooh. A three ball. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. That's 24. He averages 20.9 a game. Back to within four. Oh, Henry came so close to stepping out. A nice catch by Namaka and Blankson is open. That looked like a tightrope back. Oh, didn't it? I don't know how he stayed in bounds. Quick feet. Maybe quicker than the officials can see. Henry pulling up. Short on his shot. And here comes Gaines. Numbers. It's a four-point game. Beautiful. Whitehead makes it a two-point game. Excellent body control. Out of bounds. It's Marquette's ball. Near steal by Muhammad. What about the resolve of Louisville? Unbelievable. Gaines feeling it, firing it, and finding it from deep. And then Whitehead with four fouls in the numbers game, body control to avoid the charge. Off the window, we got ourselves a honey, it's down to two. We commented earlier when Miles had missed a shot that Marquette was able to build up a little bit bigger lead. But Whitehead did not miss the shot. And closes the gap to two. Deaner in the front court. Henry in the front court now handling the ball. Watched by Gaines. Break the floor for dribble penetration. The count is on Deaner, and now Deaner backs away. Ten on the shot clock. Hand checking called against Gaines. His second foul. Louisville is over the ten foul limit. Marquette to shoot two shots. The freshman Travis Deaner out of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Boys, not afraid to take control, and he steps to the line where he is an excellent free throw shooter. However, today, Jordy, 0 for 2. 1 for 3. Wade in. Tom Green worked into Wade's head. Got him to settle down. Take it easy. Let the game come to you. We need you down the stretch. Deaner drained both free throws. Give him eight points. He averages 7.4 points a game. Back to a four-point lead. Northern and Whitehead. The backcourt. Northern has not scored today. He looks low for the down. Whitehead has 21 off the bench. That's what the threat of the three will do for you. 
opens up interior passing. Mishandling the ball. It is saved by Lomanamaka to Diener. Here comes Henry. Count it. The silencer. Big bucket. Namaka, his eyes were as big as basketballs when the ball got away, but he was able to save it. Gaines trying to create some room, can't make the shot. Excellent blockout situation by Marquette. 69 65 Marquette coming down to four and a half minutes to go in this quarterfinal game. Namaka setting the pick, Diener taking the bounce. Wayne Wade has scored five points. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's seven. What elevation! Patino wants a timeout. Tom Green worked a little magic with Dwayne Wade. A 30 second timeout. The threat of the three opens up passing lanes in Whitehead, throws it down with authority, and then Dwayne Wade, as they head toward the screen, takes it upstairs, and he is a high riser in traffic. Maybe that little talk Green had with Wade did the trick. We'll see as you look on the huddle for Marquette and check out some other scores of championship week. The other conference tournaments in full action right now. Wayne Wade had a chance last year sitting out the season. Tom Crean wouldn't let him sit on the end of the bench. He made him come sit next to him, and he said, okay, what do you see during the course of this game? He felt like he was part of the team, and he got to do a little bit of coaching, and he learned Tom Crean's philosophy. You know, the other thing he did, Jordy, with, in practice, Wade played the role of the other team's best scorer. You don't think that helped Marquette get ready for their opponents? Who? Absolutely. Somebody had to defend him, and uh, it's tough to match other team scores, but with his physical traits, outstanding job. With Wardle leaving the program, Wade was quite a player to come in to help fill some of that scoring and, and add to it as Wade hit 18.1 18 point, 18 point points per game for the entire season. He even had to go in the locker room at halftime of some games last year and talk to the team and say, hey, look, you're not playing up to your capabilities. You can do this. He said he was nervous about it, but, you know, he wants to be an actor one day. So the nerves out the window. Louisville Marquette. This game has been everything we expected. We had some doubts when it was 18 points in favor of Marquette a couple of occasions. But Louisville has really battled back beautifully in our game today. Louisville with the ball down 71-65. Marquette goes zone. Now they switch back to man. Given a different look. Luke Whitehead, number 24 for Louisville, scored 21 points off the bench. Northern has not scored. They switch way back on games. O'Bannon. And a foul against Marquette. He was being trailed by Travis Diener. But the foul goes against Namaka. That's Namaka's four. It was after Wade made the basket. Usually when your offense picks up, so does your defense. So they made the switch, put Henry back on Northern. Then they put Wade back on Gaines, who was really on fire of late. One and one for Louisville. The foul was the seventh for Marquette. A bonus for Larry O'Bannon. O'Bannon, a freshman from Mail High School in Louisville. 25 minutes yesterday against TCU. He scored 11 points. Then three for nine from three-point range. He is seeking his 11th point. 11 for O'Bannon. 11 points for O'Bannon, and Marquette is leading 71 to 67. Louisville has been clawing its way back into the game the entire second half. We have more to come from the Conference USA Tournament quarterfinal game one today. The Conference USA Men's Basketball Tournament is being brought to you by Phillips 66, where we put the best in our super clean gasolines so you get the most out of your car. Think smart. Think performance. Think Phillips 66. United States Army, an army of one. And by AT&T Long Distance. Let your long distance be unlimited. First our center in Cincinnati. Here's our game reset. Louisville over the 10 foul limit. Marquette seven fouls, putting Louisville on the one and one. Marquette has the possession arrow. Timeouts are available for each team. And remember, Luke Whitehead, Whitehead has four personal fouls. He's in there doing so many good things for Louisville. Marquette ought to think about challenging him. 
21 for Whitehead today. Harris, the inbounds pass, and Diener in the middle of the floor against the full court Louisville pressure. Whitehead is watching Diener right now. Quick enough to stay with him, though. The count is on Diener. Diener all the way in, blocked inside by O'Bannon. Here comes Gaines and company. Louisville trailing 71 67 under three and a half to go in Cincinnati. Whitehead thinking about the three. Seema out front. O'Bannon dropping it off for Seema, but dropped it out of bounds. Well, that hurt Louisville. Now, O'Bannon hit the big shot to beat Charlotte in overtime. That time, one too many dribbles inside of traffic again. 14 Louisville turnovers. Full guard pressure on Marquette. Diener with the lob to Luminamica. Diener is the outlet against any pressure because Whitehead's not going to foul. Three minutes to go in regulation. Namaka at the point. 15 on the shot clock. Wade Beautiful. in the basket. Isolation for Wade. Jump over the defender. Lee's gains all the way to the front court for Northern. Northern blocked by Wade. Oh, Northern has yet to score. I thought that time he had the easy layup, and Wade came out of the lane and denied the layup. Another block shot. What a performance. Late for the sophomore superstar. Henry in midcourt. The shot clock winding down. 15 seconds, 2.15 to go in regulation. Here's Henry. Wait on the follow. What did Tom Green tell him? All of a sudden, he has exploded. And we have a timeout called by Louisville. Let's take a look at Dwayne Wade, who has scored nine points in the second half. Isolate him on the side, quick with the dribble, and the high, arching rainbow shot. And then on the defensive end, from nowhere, here he comes, the elevator man, top floor, send it out. Rick Patino's reaction? Uh, painful. Two minutes and two seconds left. 75-67 Marquette. Marquette won at Louisville on the 9th of January, 75 to 71. Then in Milwaukee on the 16th of February, 75-63 Golden Eagles. And Northern just not uh, producing, obviously, as he did yesterday. Great defense by Marquette and the ability of Cordell Henry to shut someone down when need be. Well, Reese Gaines is going to get his points. He has 24 today, averaging 20.9 for the season. Diener is watching Northern. Under two minutes to go. The wraparound pass and the dunk. Whitehead has 23, the assist for Gaines. And the foul on the play. Whitehead always hanging around the rim, and they somehow find him. Watch the angle of the pass, the wraparound, as Merritt commits to the dribble penetration, and Whitehead gets another one. The great ability to break down the defense by Reese Gaines. The miss. Seema can't chase it down in the corner. Good timeout call by the freshman. Marquette timeout with 1.44 left to play, and it is a full timeout. Marquette has used up its timeouts. Louisville with one left in one minute and 44 seconds. Reese Gaines has 24 points today. Whitehead off the missed free throw, but he has 23 off the bench. But Whitehead has been a starter for Louisville. It gives him a lot of experience. For a sophomore player, he plays like he's a junior or a senior at times, from what we've seen in our game today. 
Marquette will go with a three guard lineup in Diener and Wade and Henry. So it'll be very difficult for Louisville to come up with a turnover against pressure because of the ball handling ability of Marquette. Marquette will try to work the shot clock. And then when all else fails, you'll get dribble penetration from Henry or an isolation for Wade on the wing. About 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, the third seed Memphis will play its first game in the tournament against number six seed Houston. Houston ousted East Carolina yesterday. Tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time, number one Cincinnati against eighth seed South Florida. Cincinnati beat South Florida at Tampa earlier this season. And number four, Charlotte, against the 12th seed, Tulane. Tulane upended St. Louis last night. I think Memphis has to clear out any doubt among the people that are selecting the field of 65. I think one more win gets them in just to take away any doubt on the matter. Well, Louisville is trying to ease the anxiety of the weekend ahead by posting a win over the number two seed and the number 10 team ranked in the country. Following their big win over Cincinnati and another team, Charlotte. But it's Marquette's lead, 75 69. Cordell Henry being chased by Whitehead. He breaks away from any pressure. What an invaluable weapon. 90 seconds to go in regulation. Marquette spreading the floor. Now you don't want Henry to get the ball back. Northern has to deny him the basketball. Nine on the shot clock. Henry has the ball in his hands. There's his patented runner. You can't let him break you down. Once he gives up the ball, you have to deny him. 22 for Henry. One minute left in the game. Northern has yet to score. Way to rebound. Diener through traffic to the front court. Namika. And Diener is fouled by Reese Gaines, the third on games. Two shots for Diener. He made his last two free throws after missing two in the first half. The killer crossover and the floater high to avoid any shot blockers. Great body control by Mr. Cordell Henry. A free throw by Diener. Time now to take a look at the American Century on the money player of the game. Henry had a 23-point game earlier this season against Louisville. 22 today, 9 of 18, and 2 of 3 from three-point range. American Century on the money player of the game is Cordell Henry. Diener, one out of two. He has nine points. 78-69 Marquette. Gains in there! He's unconscious. What a player all season long. The junior from Madison, Wisconsin is at 27 today. Two possession game. You've got a foul to stop the clock. And uh, watch how deep this ball is. That's NBA three. Rises and great trajectory. Great shot. Northern with his fourth foul and gains as 27 points. He has scored in double figures in 29 games this season. The only game he didn't score a double figures, five points at Marquette on February 16th. Marquette can win the game at the line if they knock them down. If they miss, it keeps the door open for Louisville. Wade is one for two for the free throw line. He's looking for his 12 point, 33.3 seconds to go. And Marquette leading by six. Seema takes a seat. Louisville goes small. They've got four three-point shooters on the floor. Whitehead, the lone inside player. Wade's second free throw in play with 33.3 seconds to go. Two big misses. Reese Gaines. Gaines misses the three following his shot. And he can't save it in. I thought he was going to end up in your lap, oh, Jordy. Almost did, but great hustle. Now you've got to foul immediately if you don't get the steal. He's coming right to us. Good hustle. Reese, don't run into me, baby. Get it back in. Oh, great hustle. Just a little late. And on the inbounds play, a quick foul, stopping the clock with 22.6 seconds to go. As I said earlier, Marquette can win the game at the free throw line. 
Reese Gaines with his fourth foul stops the clock with 22.6 remaining. An 18 and one record in scoring better than 70 points this season. And under Green, Marquette is 39 and eight. Tom Green, the number is 70 or above. Tom Green pointed to Dieter and said, "Follow through. Bend your knees. Follow through." Beautiful. He did. Diener averages 7.4 points a game. Today he has scored 10. And 4 of 7 for the free throw line. Five rebounds for Diener and two assists to go on with the 10 points for the freshman. He followed through once more. 11 points for Travis Diener. 80 to 72 Marquette. Marquette has pitched a shutout on Northern and a foul. That's the last thing you want to do. You do not want to stop the clock by fouling. Wade picks up a cheap one and lets Gaines go to the free throw line. Well, Louisville score with the clock stopped. Three fouls on Dwayne Wade. One and one here for Reese Gaines as the foul by Wade was the ninth team foul for Marquette. Same was out there in. Louisville very good at uh, rebounding missed free throw opportunities. So Marquette better check off. A bonus for Reese Gaines. Twenty eight points for Gaines. Twenty nine. 80-74. Cordell Henry will be on the free throw line. There's not a, another player on the court that I would want more at the free throw line than that young man, Cordell Henry. Northern is fouled out of the game. Not score after a brilliant game yesterday, a great second half. 25 points against TCU. Northern was 0 for 7 today from the field, 0 for 3, 3 point. Two shots coming up for Cordell Henry. The winner making a substitution. The winner will advance to play the winner of Memphis and Houston in semifinal number one. Simon Nadenov, a sophomore from Bulgaria, in for Louisville with 15 seconds remaining. No. 80-74 in favor of Marquette with Cordell Henry. Looking for his 23rd point. He had 23 against Louisville at Milwaukee. 23 today. Henry, 9 of 18 for the field, 2 for 3 from behind the arc, and 3 of 5 from the line. A 24-point day for the senior out of Chicago. Louisville wants Reese Gaines to take a good shot. If they score, they'll call timeout. Gaines all the way in. Whitehead scores the basket. Whitehead has 25 off the bench. No timeout call. I don't think they have one left. And a foul, a quick foul by O'Bannon, his third. 6.1 seconds to go, 82-76 Marquette. Marquette has made 24 points from the free throw line, going 24 out of 35. See, I read Rick Pitino's lips. He said, if you score, call timeout. So I'm trying to be an expert analyst, and I read his lips, and that's what he said. But they didn't listen. 6.1 seconds to go. Luma Namaka. Namaka made two free throws today. Two for three from the line. Nine points overall. He shoots for double figures. Ten points for Namaka. The average is 7.7 a game. And time is running out on the Louisville season. Gaines with the miss. Three attempts. Sanders up big and strong for the rebound as time runs out. Marquette advances, beating Louisville 84 to 76. 
despite big games by Reese Gaines with 29 and Luke Whitehead off the bench with 25. Cordell Henry at 24 points today.